In this video, I'm gonna show you a really important tip if you're like trips tight in. We're gonna show you how to beat zone, man. We're also gonna show you how to really take advantage of short side trips um, to really be able to break down defenses quickly, efficiently, and effectively. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. Also, if you wanna get my entire trips tight in offensive ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. Uh, 10 bucks will get you access to all of our ebooks. We got 12 offensive and defensive ebooks so far in the Madden 23 season with more on the way. Uh, it also gets you access to all the up dates that we may release as well um, as we find new stuff out of this formation now really excited about this video we're gonna be talking about short side trips why it is so good and um, and, and it really kind of one of the big keys to running short side trips. short side trips has been good for the last couple of years this year is no different and we're gonna show you something uh, that I think is really interesting so you can do this out of any play it does not matter what play you're running um, trips is such a good formation because you know, it's easy to just kind of like freestyle. Now, if you want to, you could do this out of Pats YN. Let's say you don't have tight end apprentice, use Pats YN. If you do have tight end apprentice, you can do it out of anything. I personally really like to do it out of uh, PA slot corner. Okay. So here's the setup. We're going to C route the solo or the, the outside receiver. And then we have a choice. Okay. Um, you can either streak the uh, second receiver or you could streak um, this guy. I'm going to show you today um, streaking this slot receiver here, uh, Russell Gage. And then we're going to drag our tight end and we're going to motion this post across. So you see here, real simple. Now, what makes this so good is the fact that these this uh, post is a really, really simple and effective way uh, to beat man. It's a really good man beater. It's very similar to mesh post out of gun bunch. If you like to run a uh, bunch, you can use this play. You also have this C route. This C route is really, really good. It's really good specifically to the left side of the field. It's really the best, uh, in my opinion, to the left side of the field. So you have this real simple concept. Now, the next thing that you're going to be able to do on this play um, is if everything breaks down again, just hit your post. Darden um, doesn't have like great route running abilities, but if you put somebody there that has short and elite, um, it's going to make it that much more effective. Now your tight end route is also really good. Um, again, my tight end's not the best tight end, but you'll see right here, he's able to cook man to the sideline. So not only is this play good against man, but we're gonna show you why it's so powerful against zone. Um, but I wanna set this up by first um, showing you what this looks like to wide side. So if you run this to the wide side, there's a couple of issues with the play. Um, the main one being against zone. Against man, everything's pretty much the same. But against zone, you're going to see um, something really interesting. So again, we're just going to stay with this motion. And if you watch this left side of the screen, you're going to notice that the cover three is going to have a pretty decent chance at actually playing the C route against zone. Um, cover four, well, is, is also really effective as well. So again, let me go to cover three. And you'll just see that because of where I'm at on this plate, like right there, that's a great example. You see that the cover three is able to bag me um, in the in the zone coverage. When I'm short side and running the same basic principle, you're gonna notice that it's actually more effective. And the reason why is because let's say they go to any kind of zone. All right, we'll show you cover three. But let's say they go to zone, you do this concept right here and now this guy's gonna get off the rub and then the seam is gonna have to, uh, or the, the third is gonna have a lot more, um, he, he's already in the grid of the outside third. So, you know, even if they do something like this, uh, which does happen this year to stop a C route, even if they man up this defender, or, um, or I'm sorry, this, this receiver, then what you should see here is the C route should just be a lot better. Boom, right there, back shoulder catch easy money um, out of trips this is my favorite probably my favorite play in the game uh, right now because of the fact that it's so easy to flood zones when you are working the short side of the field so you'll see here this is going to be cover two um, you'll see here again he gets over top it's a real easy read right to that c route now obviously you got to catch it but it's a real simple real easy read now you might be saying well cody what happens if they play cover four glad you asked we're going to show you uh cover four this is kind of cover four drop uh, typically, if you're playing someone that runs cover four drop, they'll run hard flats with it because um, they're going to pinning on the quarters. What you'll see here is, again, same basic thing. That outside quarter can't play 
that player uh, on that because of the fact that my guy is so because um, they're so tight together and because he's already flooding that zone. Uh, you got to understand Madden is based on grids. I've talked about this before, uh, but it really is important to understand that because Madden, the grid system in Madden puts those quarter zones on certain grids and Russell Gage is a threat, a vertical threat in the grid of the outside quarter in a cover four drop as long as we're running this to the short side. So you see again here, no pass lead, just throw it left side, boom, it's an easy dot. It breaks zone down significantly better when you do it this way. So now let's say your opponent tries to get a little adjusty, maybe they do something like this. Um, you know, maybe they do something like this to kind of try to slow down the C route a little bit. I will show you that this isn't a bad idea. Um, it can actually, you know, hurt the C route's effectiveness a little bit. Like you'll see here, something like this. But, you know, you can freeform that to the outside. The outside third's not guarding, you know, the C route. And so you see how effective this can be. So when the short side C route with a pull route is really, really, really valuable. Now, um, I'll show you one last thing here with this. You can do this from either guy. So let's say you wanted to, it's another benefit of short side trips. It doesn't matter. So you see here, I'm going to use my slot apprentice ability to put this guy on a post, but watch this real quick. You see, I'm still able to flood that third. That third is still sucking in and it's primarily due to the fact that we're running this to the short side of the field. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're not running your trips to the short side, I would encourage you to consider at least messing with some of the short side concepts this year. I think that there are um, the beauty of Madden as we've kind of gotten better over the years is people are starting to realize that you can have short side concepts and wide side concepts. Um, and that way it kind of helps with the chess match of making everything look the same pre-staff that your opponent can't key in on certain things and all that. So anyways, with that in mind, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon link to sign up for that is in the description down below.